Hey, what is up, you guys? I am Josie Bunn, and I make fashion and DIY content here on the internet. So if that is something that interests you, please do give this video a like and a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel if you are not already. Anyways, let's jump right on into today's topic, and that is my fall essentials. Now this video is coming a little late in the game. I know we are well into November at this point, so I'm sure that you guys already have a lot of your essentials, but I just thought I would go over a few of mine because mine are very rarely ever super, super basic, at least not all the way through. I do have some fun pieces in here that I wanted to share with you guys. Let's jump right on into my first little subcategory, which is going to be obviously sweaters. As the weather cools down, obviously sweaters become more essential to our wardrobe, so I have picked out a few to show you guys today. One is my favorite black turtleneck. This is a piece that you guys see constantly in my wardrobe um, in all of my styling videos, so of course I had to include it in this one. I'm sure it'll make it into a winter video as well at some point. <laughs> the next sweater I have for you guys is actually, in my opinion, quite an interesting one and one that I don't see a lot of people talk about, and that is the sleeveless sweater. So this is a sleeveless mock neck that I have picked out, which is amazing for layering with blazers, cardigans, and other items on top like jackets and things like that. So that you don't get that weird bunching at like the elbow point when you go to bend your arm, you know, when you're wearing a few layers and it's just like, you know what I mean? And you can just feel all the layers constricting. So I do really like the versatility of a sleeveless sweater. The last sweater I have in this video, but it's basically, you could swap any of these out for any other colorway that you enjoy, anything else. I went with a really warm palette for this video for the most part, and that's just because I really love warm tones in the fall, but a nice rich green or a deep blue could work just as well for essentials for you guys. Just so you guys know, you're not limited to color during the fall. You shouldn't be. You should wear whatever you want, whenever you want, weather permitting. <laughs> so this last sweater is just this really beautiful auburn, almost burnt orangey sweater that I have. It is wonderful tucked in. It looks really nice. It's a great neutral and a great base to layer on top of as well as just like build an outfit with. But it is also a really nice standalone piece and it looks great untucked as well. It falls in a really great place on the hip. Flannels are again just sort of a no-brainer when it comes to fall fashion and fall closet essentials, but there is an obvious reason as to why. They sort of act as this great neutral base, no matter their like color. Um, they're a great neutral pattern that you can use. But if you could find those really nice thick flannel materials, those are really going to act as a great base for building other outfits. They look great with band tees. They look great with oversized sweaters, really comfy cozy. You can tie them around the waist and wear them as an accessory. But I really love them as a layering piece because they really do look good paired with other items. And they do look good on their own as well. But I think really where they shine is like when you're, you're layering. You can layer a jacket over top of a flannel, over top of a cool t-shirt, and really give it more of an edgy look. I mean, the possibilities with the flannel are sort of endless. I do really quickly want to go over just a couple blouses that are sort of quintessential essential to my fall wardrobe. I love me a good vintage blouse during the fall and winter months, especially because a lot of them, you guys, a lot of them are polyester. And we all know polyester can be really warm. Like I have this amazing black with this beautiful gold embroidery embedded into the sleeves and like the collar area. I am just, I love how just beautifully detailed this one is. I really love the versatility of this black blouse and I also have just mwah, the most beautiful. I'm a connoisseur of white old lady blouses and this one is absolutely no exception. This is another item that I tend to collect because in my opinion, white blouses are so versatile and I have so many different ones that if you ask just anybody, is this too many white blouses for one person to own, they would be like, absolutely, yeah, that's way too many, they're all the same. I just have two dresses to show you guys in this video, and that is because I really looked at all of the things in my closet, and I am a dress girl, I love dresses, and I was like, I could show them literally like a hundred dresses, and that would satiate me. But that's not really what this video is about. This is about, for the most part, bare bones basics that you can really build different outfits out of during the fall and winter months. And so I gave you two dresses. They're actually the same dress in two different colors. And you may be looking at me like I'm crazy because I will admit a t-shirt dress in a colder month, what are you thinking? But, but hear me out. They make a really great base 
again for layering so fall in my opinion fall fashion is all about how you layer clothing so with winter fashion i think most of that relies on the coat that you're picking as well as how is that going to impact what's underneath the coat and that's just because for the most part in december and january the coat is your outfit especially if you live in the midwest or if you're in canada or if you're in like a colder country or state you know what i mean like so the coat becomes the outfit whereas in fall i feel like you can really layer up different pieces without having to rely on a coat to dress warmly like for me fall is typically very mild until about the end of november and then we start getting into sort of winter months i think a t-shirt dress is perfect for fall because it allows you to create an outfit that can be deconstructed depending on the environment that you're in blazers are something that i don't see a ton of younger people talking about and i think i know why i think it's because classically i feel like blazers have a reputation for being maybe a little bit stuffy or corporate and i feel like it really just depends on how you style it i absolutely love a good blazer in a statement color i love this really beautiful it's kind of like a baby puke green <laughs> is how my mom describes it i would describe it as like a tasteful bright olive but <laughs> i absolutely love the color it's really flattering for my skin tone i think it looks absolutely stunning especially in the fall it's a beautiful fall tone i love a printed blazer especially plaid blazers but i will take any print on a blazer houndstooth even like a weirder print like something more abstract i love printed blazers so much they are so fun especially for the fall time because again i feel like people reside themselves to a lot of neutrals and i know i'm going to be talking about a lot of bare bones neutrals and things that are sort of boring but i feel like you can take any of those boring basics and put a blazer on top of it and suddenly you have this really well thought out really well planned outfit another thing that i really love are textured blazers so blazers that are made out of maybe not wool or tweed obviously i love a good wool or tweed and those are interesting materials on their own but thinking outside the box like leather blazers you can get blazers in so many different types of material it doesn't just have to be a wool or a, a tweed type of blazer you can really go outside the box and find something that really fits your personality as well as like the weather in your area and really just make it just a whole moment I wanted to talk about some jackets that I think are absolutely quintessential for fall, but again, the jackets are kind of where I got a little more interesting in terms of the pieces that I picked out and some of the more fun finds that I have in my closet and sort of the essentials is more of a broad and loose term. So I did pare it down a little bit because I do find a lot of my heavier coats and things like that are more suited for winter. For this particular video, I picked a few silk bomber style jackets with a sort of Korean or Japanese street style vibe. One of the jackets is actually from Korea, so that's really awesome. I was so excited to find that in the stores. It's one of my favorite jackets that I own. I feel so cool when i wear it i feel like a badass i just it's such a fun piece to have in your wardrobe it's a nice animal print but it's also just like a really good graphic print i just think silk jackets are again a great layering piece for fall they're not too heavy they're not bulky and they read as really cool and relaxed while bringing something a little more interesting to the table in terms of like texture i feel like not a lot of people talk about silk jackets like that and i feel like they are less common at the thrift store but they're not impossible to find and i feel like they are an item that is just so awesome and like different i don't know i really like them for something a little more basic i have a nice zara denim jacket this one has an amazing cream colored shearling lining and i am obsessed with it this is probably the warmest coat that i'm about to show you guys this one is amazing i found that at a marshall's for way less than it would have sold for at zara and i am seriously just so obsessed with it i love this jacket so much i've had it for a few years now and i without fail will grab this jacket to wear with basically anything whenever it gets cold it's such a nice shade of denim it's a really nice neutral wash i really love it lastly for jackets i want to talk about one leather trench now i am a leather stan i'm a leather girl i love a good leather piece of clothing while i view it as more of a wintry material because it is incredibly warm 
I did want to include at least one leather piece for fall because I know it is super trendy for fall to wear leather and I also know that I am just obsessed with leather so obviously it had to be included somewhere in this video so I chose the thrift find of the century for me this is an amazing vintage like straight out of the 70s it's got a plaid liner this is fantastic it's like flannel material it's so warm and comfy it's, it's the stunning camel color it's got the matching belt to go with it this jacket is everything this is stunning this is my number one i think one of my number one favorite thrifted items that i've ever brought home cardigans are an amazing addition to a fall wardrobe again because they're great for layering but really what they are and what i try to look at them as it's just an extension of a sweater. And while I love a really good neutral colored, neutral knit, just a basic everyday sweater, and I have a few in here that I want to show you guys, including, but not limited to the one that I'm wearing right now. I also have this really great gray cardigan, really neutral. It falls at a really great length for a cardigan, I think. Um, but more than that, I love me a short cardigan and I love a printed cardigan. Now, this is something that I didn't really conceptualized in my brain until I saw one at the thrift store and so I picked it up it was this beautiful plaid it's like this bright red and black it has a little bit of green and mustard in it but it's a bright plaid cardigan and I was like I didn't really realize that they made patterned cardigans like they do make patterned sweaters and things like that so when I saw this I immediately immediately was hit with like Chanel and Gucci vibes and I was like I must have that I must wear that that's so beautiful skirts are one of those items that are just popular year-round and I think that's because again they're great for layering all it takes in the colder months and times are really just putting a pair of tights on underneath and suddenly you've winterized or fallerized or whatever a skirt and for me even certain sort of patterns can be neutral depending on the color palette as well as just the texture and the silhouette of the skirt so for me i have this really great mini skirt it's this neutral plaid almost inspired piece and i just really love it this one was actually a new piece i purchased at a store called dry goods it just acts as a really nice neutral base for the outfit and also it gives a little bit of a statement but not too much that i couldn't pair this with something else that may have a little bit more detail or edge to it i really like pairing this with more delicate pieces as well i have been obsessed for years with these vintage pleated patterned skirts so i have quite a few of these really beautiful vintage skirts that i've implemented especially into my fall wardrobe maybe a little bit more grunge grungy or grunge inspired like this beautiful long fringe plaid that i have i just i really am obsessed with these long printed staple skirts because they make such a statement in your wardrobe and i think that is really the essence of style is making your own statement and what your clothes say about you and i think these skirts are just so fun and you know kind of quirky kind of you know but still so fashionable and i think um you know paired with certain pieces like if you pair this with like just a black turtleneck it really becomes this like timeless and effortless sophisticated look coming back into basics for a moment here i have this amazing tan denim button front skirt by anthropology let me tell you this was so exciting for me to find because i found it at the thrift store for way less i think they didn't realize anthropology was like an expensive brand because it was like maybe two dollars i think this is just a really special skirt for fall and i really love it and i'm going to utilize the hell out of it this year denim is obviously not just a fall basic or trend it is obviously a year-round lifelong essential to keep in your closet so i'll try to be as brief as i can with this for this particular video i picked out two pairs of jeans one in black and one in light blue but they are both very similar in terms of i mean they're the same brand they're vintage men's levi's that i distressed the bottom of by just giving them a quick chop also a little more unique I am a big fan of a leather trouser for the fall and winter time. Now this could be like a, you know, a sheer lined or fleece lined faux leather legging, or this could be like 
for me especially, like a nice, sturdy, genuine leather that I've thrifted. Not to mention, I love just the texture and look of leather. I think that it is really quintessentially fall. I think leather becomes such a big trend every single year, year after year, because it is such a great basic for fall. Shoes, very similar to jackets, are sort of my vice when it comes to my collection. I find myself really gravitating towards shoes. So for the purposes of this video, it was really about paring down my massive collection into the six quintessential shoes that I have for the fall months. The first pair are these absolutely amazing and absolutely breathtaking snakeskin knee-high boots by Steve Madden. Everything from the deep mustard tone of the shoe to the snakeskin print to the height of the boot to the chunky heel, everything about these boots to me screams fall and winter. They really do make me feel like I'm walking out of like a New York magazine editorial photo shoot. I don't know what I'm saying, but I just I absolutely love them so much. Immediately following that, I do have a more casual option in a very similar colorway. It's this like sort of mustardy brown, it's almost like an acorn shade of <laughs> brown. It's just really beautiful, warm tone suede shoes. These are originally by Madewell. I believe they're Vans, but they're, they were a Madewell exclusive color, I think. They're a suede with a nice shearling liner to them just to keep your feet really warm. And I think that these are so cute for fall. I absolutely love how they make me feel like a little Netflix coming of age character where I'm just about to hop on my vintage bike and listen to my cassette tapes on my way to college. I don't know. I just thought these were really cute. It would not be a Josie Bunn fashion video of any kind without my callback to the 70s and 60s disco era with these Steve Madden white mini go-go boots. So these are my signature boot, I want to say. I wear these all the time. They get so much wear out of them and when they finally disintegrate into nothing, I'm going to be depressed. I'm going to actually need to buy a second pair of these. And while it is simultaneously a callback to vintage fashion, it is also really futuristic and modern and I think that just juxtaposition is really special. I of course had to even the score and show you guys three pairs of black boots that I own because let's be honest you guys, when we're getting dressed for the fall time, we want to be comfortable, we want to be cozy, and we do want to look cute, but I think a lot of the decision making for our clothes falls in those first two categories. What's going to be warm and comfortable and cozy, and what's going to get me out the door quickly. So what are we all grabbing for this fall? Uh, probably black booties of some kind. So I've got three here to show you. Of course, I've got my really nice sort of grungy, tough, um, originally from Shein. I fortunately was able to thrift these in my size. It was heaven was smiling upon me that day. Next up, of course, I have my Clark's booties. I, again, another thrift find. These are my go-to shoes because they are waterproof, but they are also really stylish. And I really love the shape of the toe, the shape of the heel. I love the detailing on the side. And of course, finally, my last pair of boots, my like just to the knee boots that I thrifted. These are in a gorgeous black leather. They have this beautiful stitching in the top of them. And that is it, you guys. We did it. This is a massive video. I know. I'm so sorry about it. No, I'm not. Um, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's video and got something out of it, whether it be knowledge or just some inspiration for some outfits you could put together for fall or a new way to wear one of your old basics that you've had lying around for a while. And of course, as always, stay well until next time and I will see you next week, you guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and leave me a comment letting me know what your favorite fall basic is to wear come the holiday months. Give this video a like, all that extra goodness and all that extra stuff. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.